Hello everyone, so you may remember that a week or so ago, I did a video looking at the massive stockpile of over 400 FPV first person view drones which had been assembled by Ukraine. These are being used as loitering munitions, rig them with a grenade or RPG round flung underneath. Well, I thought it worth taking a look at a rather grainy video showing one in use, which I will play now. So we can see the drone, and we can also just see the projectile slung underneath it. I think it's an RPG round this time as it appears quite chunky from what little we saw. So the drone's cruising along on a seek and destroy target mission, and it finds the target. No spotter drone was recording the impact, but I have to assume that they knew that this vehicle was here. Likely it was spotted, and the spotter drone ran out of batteries perhaps, so they had to search for it manually along the route where it was heading. I can't see Ukraine just sending these out willy-nilly without a known area to search. So we can tell these drones are pretty manoeuvrable. It's able to spot the vehicle heading towards it, change direction very quickly, and then attack it on the right hand side. So these are pretty cool. Unfortunately, because there was no spotter drone, we don't actually know what damage the impact caused to it. Now this was originally being shared as a BMP, but it is hard to tell. Looking at this image from the front, with the front term um, of a vehicle slanting forward, it could also potentially be an MTLB too. But from this view, side on, it looks a bit too chunky and box-like for a BMP or an MTLB. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on what this vehicle was. Now, let's check out where this was. So this was here, near a town called Shevchenko. If that name sounds familiar, it should. Shevchenko, if we zoom out, is here, near Vuladar. It's the infamous location where Russia lost over 30 vehicles in one fell swoop. Now, no date for this video was given, so I can't say if this is another video from there showing that surviving vehicles were then picked off by drones after the artillery strikes on the mines, or if it's a new video from a few days after that incident. But it's quite an interesting one, I thought, to see a recent video of the FPV drones in use. If you found it interesting too, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care, everybody.